The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, brother, let me remove that splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. There's a proverb in the, in the book of Proverbs, uh, in the Old Testament, uh, chapter 12, verse 1. I, I don't have it memorized word for word, but it essentially says that the fool hates to be corrected, but a, uh, um, a wise person wants to be corrected. And, uh, and the process of seeing our own faults is is not necessarily easy. Um, and we're not talking about having a horrible self-esteem or thinking that we're worthless or stupid or, or those kinds of things. That's not what uh, our Lord is encouraging us to be aware of. Our Lord is encouraging us to be aware of our own sinfulness before we are so aware of other people's sinfulness that we would look interiorly and seek purity of heart and mind and spirit authentically, truly, and courageously with seeing eyes before we turned our attention to other people's sins. And, you know, it's, it's easy enough to see the wooden beam or the, the splinter in somebody else's eye and not see the wooden beam in our own eye. It's almost a comical image. And I hope that as we think about this comical image, it stays with us and it reminds us to look interiorly when we want to focus our 2020 laser sharp vision on our neighbor's problem, okay? So we, we are aware. Um, you know, going back to this idea of, of being blind and needing a guide, we, we really do need to fight for feedback. We need to ask people that we trust to help us on our spiritual journey to be seeing. I remember this experiment all going all the way back to one of my psychology classes in college where you had two groups of people and the exercise was to draw a line that was two inches long, okay? And you'd draw, you'd try to draw a line that's two inches long. You do it 10 times. And then one group would be graded on how well they did. And the other group wouldn't be graded at all. Now, I think it's a no brainer that the group that wasn't graded didn't get any better at it. Their lines were equally off the whole time. They drew them 10 times, they drew them 10 more times, they ended up drawing 100 times, and they had 100 lines that were equally wrong. But the group that drew, and then they would look at them and they would correct them, they got better and better and better at that. And it just goes back to the reality that, you know, we need to be able to perceive what is wrong and we need the courage to be able to hear that from ourselves and from others and so our lord tells us you know seek to perceive your own faults so that then you can see clearly 
Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? So today we pray that we would have good guides in our spiritual lives, our moral lives, and that we could be loving, patient, seeing guides for others. This is your invitation to give yourself a beautiful gift. Are you interested in Catholicism, learning more about the Catholic faith? We have a process here at Our Lady of the Gulf to teach, to grow in faith, and we want you to join. 